Hey mate, I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mate. Remember, if it's your first time here, like, share, subscribe to the channel with your friends and colleagues. This time in Ignite 2023 live edition from Seattle Convention Center Summit here. Uh, so, basically, uh, what I'm trying to do right now is summarize bunch of really great insights, really awesome announcement from uh, Ignite regarding kind of fabric that's starting from there. A lot of different, you know, uh, announcement in the coming back on news. So let's start ramping up a little bit on what were announced this week. Let's start saying I am really excited about general availability of fabric the unified data analytics solution for our clients, data falls from Power BI people, from data engineer, all around workloads, near real time analytics, you know, uh, data warehousing. Uh, so that was a major announcement from the public team. Second announcement that's really interesting coming in public preview is um, mirroring. Mirroring is going to be a game changer for a lot of clients in the data space that allow us to near real time mirror our data sources coming, you know, start talking about Cosmos DB clients, Snowflake clients, uh, Azure SQL DB, so, and more and more sources coming to that place. So, what you can do with mirroring is replicate your operational workloads into fabric land that in delta packet format and from one lake it's short term it's you can do whatever you want in terms of enable a lake house structure and structure data or data warehouse and just publish as a new power bi report from there that's one of the major announcements out of the data space the other one is copilot copilot is coming everywhere so in fabric explicitly it's going to be helping our Power Query users with Dataflow Generation 2. It's going to be an assistant for um, copilots in notebooks, so you can spin up, you know, Python scripting really fast for your data engineers, understanding the process to do the ETL, to transform data, shape data using the copilot assistant. It's going to be coming to Power BI users, of course, to create new reports, to find interesting insights, to create reports from run fresh from scratch that's that's really interesting another major announcement in the data space is oracle is coming as databases into the azure stream so that is amazing partnership between microsoft and oracle to make it happen last but not least that i would love to point and reference on this one is the major topic around, you know, something that I've been hearing so far all around is, uh, you know, data people asking, can you provide uh, any kind of aspects that allow us to understand how we can come in and call OpenAI, integrate with long chain, with semantic kernel, that is coming right away as part of the pieces on the fabric data engineer stream so you can enable and create your own connection with the rest api of uh, openai so still tuned because in our next session in our next episode we are going to be covering more deep insights around the bulk of news out of ignite going and summarize all the workloads what was announced and some of the details. But for now, check this view. It's all around Seattle, sunny day here. And you know, that's gonna be all I'm wrapping up from today. So stay tuned. Remember, check our channel, like, share, and subscribe. And as we always say, uh, let's try to enable and unlock the full potential on our platform and Microsoft Outlook.